Now welcome to tutorials in hand.com. In this video we are going to learn about one of the very famous internet terminology which is World Wide Web. Let's proceed with the tutorial to see what this World Wide Web actually is. The first thing that we are going to learn is what is World Wide Web. World Wide Web is also popularly known as WWW or they are used interchangeably. Sometimes we will hear there is WWW so it means World Wide Web. So World Wide Web was created by Timothy Berners-Lee in 1989 and since then it has came a very long way. Now what actually is World Wide Web? So World Wide Web is a collection of documents or web pages which are connected to multiple document or web pages through hypertext links and these documents or web pages are accessible over internet and anyone can search for the information by navigating from one document to the other document. The information on the web page is presented to the user in the form of a document known as web page. Now whenever you visit any any web page uh, from Google you might search for Flipkart or Amazon or, or any website and the page where you land that page contains a lot of information and the informations can be in various forms. So those pages are known as web pages. Those documents containing the informations in various forms are known as web pages. And the WWW or World Wide Web works on a client server architecture. Now this client server architecture we will discuss later in other video tutorial. In the next uh, few seconds we will see a diagram where client server architecture would be present. Here you see our website tutorialsinhand.com. This actually is a web page which contains a lot of informations and a navigable set of interlinked documents. For example, someone who wants to learn Python will click on the link Python given at the top of the menu bar and once they click on Python, the Python tutorial will be presented. Since we are learning here DBMS tutorial, so the links related to DBMS tutorial are present over here. You can see if someone wants to learn DBMS keys concept, so he can click on key in DBMS and all the details about key in DBMS, whether it is in any form will be presented on this page. So there are various resources on World Wide Web and those resources are actually present in various forms like text documents or hypertext with links to the other document. For example, if you want, if you see uh, it is written DBMS tutorial in the text, in the image if you see in this chapter of DBMS tutorial we are going to discuss. So DBMS tutorial is underlined and is bold which means it is hypertext and it contains a link to some page which is DBMS tutorial. Once you click on this link you will be redirected to a different web page. In the similar way you can see at the top there is a home a home page which contains certain hypertext. There is tutorial section which contains certain hypertext and in similar way there are lot of other links to which you can visit in uh, for learning purpose. So this is how a world wide web contains the text documents. Now you might have visited a lot of websites which contains informations in the form of text or images. There may be audio files on certain uh, websites like Ghana.com or there are various other uh, websites which contains 
documents in the form of audio files and then there are other documents which are present in the form of video files so when you visit youtube or certain pages on our website tutorialsinhand.com you will find video files present over there for example you are listening to this video tutorial right so this is a kind of document which is present on the world wide web and you are able to access this video document from youtube and this video tutorial is also shared on our website in the www web page so from www web page if you click on the hypertext you will be uh, redirected to youtube video tutorial which contains this tutorial which we are listening currently so this is how world wide web is connected with the help of hypertexts so these are the major resources which are present on the www but there may be some other files as well now we move on to the next section where requirements to access the information from www will be discussed so what are the basic requirements you require to access any information from the world wide web so first thing you must be aware of if you want to access any information you should have computer or a mobile device which is commonly used by most of the people in today's world so the first requirement would be computer or the mobile device without which obviously you cannot access any information on the world wide web now even if you have computer or mobile device but you do not have internet connection then also it would be very difficult for you to connect with all the informations present on the world wide web in the form of web pages so you will require internet and obviously once you have internet you would require browser browser is required uh, where you will type the information whatever you want to learn from or whatever detail you need from world wide web so suppose you want to learn java so you will type in your browser uh, for example in google or opera like learn java or you will type java tutorial and once you press enter you will find a lot of websites or tutorials both free and paid presented in front of you from where you can go and learn java or in the similar way if you want to shop uh, a particular uh, handbag or maybe you want to purchase mobile so you will just type purchase mobile on the internet in the browser and you will be presented with a lot of websites who are selling mobile devices and obviously the internet that we already discussed you would require internet to connect to the world wide web from your system or browser so these are the basic requirements to access www informations what they are they are computer browser and internet now let's move on to the next section but before we move on to the next section just look at the diagram presented over here this is what client server architecture looks like just look at the diagram for now we will discuss about client ar server architecture in another video and the link to the video would be given in the description section of this video with this we have already completed our video tutorial on world wide web so tutorials in hand would like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching our video and learning from tutorialsinhand.com we would also request you to like and subscribe our channel to get further updates on other video tutorials whenever they are created thanks once again